This is a smart plug that you can control from your phone, your Google Assistant, Alexa, or whatever you're using. However, I'm sure you did not come here for me to tell you that. Instead, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own. So let's get right into it. Before I show you how this works, let's go over the components. First, we have the ESP32 microcontroller. The reason I chose this because it has a Wi-Fi and it can work as an access point because I want to control the switch over Wi-Fi. You can use uh, something else if, you're, if you want to. There are some cheaper options. However, this one is cheap and it's a good option. Here we have the rest of the component and you can see I made some headers for the ESP32 to be mounted on these additional outside headers just to expose the rest of the pins in case you want to expand this project in the future. This is our main switch or the relay basically. I have a full video explaining how this relay works, but you can think of it as a switch that you can control using a microcontroller. These terminal here to power the circuit and I'm going to be using electricity to power the circuit, which I will show you in a minute. This switch here, just to turn it on and off, in case we want a manual switch, we can switch that on and off. And I did use some hot glue to mount that in place so it doesn't wobble. Here we have another terminal exposing access to the relay pins. So the common pin, the normally closed and the normally opened are exposed through this terminal. Here we have an LED just to show when the switch is on or off, uh, just to make it easier to see. Uh, this resistor for the LED for protection, and we have a diode here to control the one direction uh, of the current protecting our board in case anything happen. Over here we have a transistor controlling the ground power to the relay, and that's how we are controlling the relay. And here is a 1K resistor. Everything is written here on the PCB, so that should be easy and clear for you to see. Speaking of PCB, a quick thank you to JLC PCB for offering me a huge discount on this order and offering you, my viewers, a $60 coupon link in the description. They come in this nice box wrapped in this bubble wrap with your order number and details here. And I already opened this, but you can see I got the yellow color. Uh, I have a full video showing you how you can design and order your PCB within 10 minutes right from the software. Link will be in the description to that as well. Once again, I'm not being paid for this. They only offer me the discount and you can also get one. Link will be in the description. Now let's talk about the wiring and the power with a quick disclaimer. Here we're using 110 volt. So I'm using real outlet electricity. If you're not sure what you're doing, I would be careful here. Please use this information at your own risk. Basically, don't burn your house down. So what I have here is the electricity, the 110 volt converter so this will convert my electricity to 5 volt i will leave a link to this item uh, for the amazon listing in the description as well this will power the board and the relay using the 5 volt output from this converter here it will power my microcontroller in addition to the relay and the entire circuit so when this is a plugged in I will plug this in, everything will be powered from the regular electricity and I don't need to use the USB. Over here, I have the outlet. So here I have just some light bulbs and I'm gonna plug this in. And here is the switch. So you can see I'm connecting the COM pin, which is the middle pin here from the relay, the COM, C-O-M, to the normally open pin, that is the one from here, from the outside, that would be the normally open. Now let me get another PCB real quick 
so I can show you um, what I have here on the circuit. So you can see I have the normally open over here. The comma is in the middle. This is the normally closed. And I'm using these two. When the switch is on, they will be connected. And when it's off, they will be off, right? So this is where the relay sits. And this is where the power is going in. So you can see here, that's the power terminal. This is the terminal for the switch. And over here, I'm going to plug this in. And I will also give you the code that will allow you to control this board over Wi-Fi. So we can turn this on and off from any phone or anything that can connect to Wi-Fi to control this switch. Now for the moment you've been waiting for. So let me show you how this working before I give you the circuit diagram. I've plugged in to the outlet. Again, this is 110, so please be careful. And here is my outlet other end, which I have a light bulb plugged in here. Let me turn off this light so you can see better. I'm using an old phone connected to the Wi-Fi of the ESP32. This is the converter powering everything on electricity. Basically, we don't need anything else. And now I can toggle this on and off. As you can see, when the LED is on or when the switch is on, then my outlet, which is just a regular outlet, you can plug anything in here. Obviously, be careful with the amount of current you're using. But here I can toggle that switch on and off using any phone connected to the Wi-Fi by going to that IP address of the ESP32. So you can see here the 192.168.4.1, that is the page hosted on the ESP32. Um, here's one more toggle, and you can see I can shut off the circuit by turning off the switch. If I turn off the switch, I can also cut the power on the whole circuit. I can turn it back on, by turning that switch on. Let me try to explain the high level circuit and then I will also show you the PCB detailed circuit. But this is the high level AC to DC circuit. So this is the AC 110 in. It goes in this way, it comes out that way. You have from the AC in, you have to the converter. So AC to DC converter, you get five volt out. The 5 volt will go into here. So from this converter, you have AC in, you have DC out, 5 volt goes into here through the switch. Now, you have from the same in, you have the ground connected directly to the out. So the ground is always connected. You don't need to really disconnect that. And the positive of the AC here goes through the switch so in addition to taking from this to the converter in addition to that we're going to skip the converter go through the switch to the com and then the switch will control the on and off by connecting and disconnecting the com and the normally open um, i think i made a mistake here this is not the normally closed this should be the normally open so the calm and the normally open will be disconnected when the switch is off and they will be connected when the switch is on. So if the switch is on, you have a full AC out. If the switch is off, you only have ground. That's how very basic switch works. Now let's go to the PC and take a look at the PCB circuit in more details. Now I pulled up Easy EDA to take a look at the PCB real quick. Here is our ESP32 sits in the middle. You have these additional headers exposing the additional pins in case you wanna expand on this project. If you're not planning on expanding on the project, maybe you can ignore these or skip soldering them. Uh, here is our uh, terminal exposing the relay pins. This is the uh, input for the power, and this is our switch. Here is the LED and the resistor. You can see the transistor. I do not want to spend too much time here because I do not want the video to get too long. Let me show you how you can order this real quick. You can click here, PCB fabrication file. 
and you can download the Gerber file or you can just click no generate Gerber and you can see that you can order directly from JLC PCB within one click. You can order up to five PCBs, I think for $2. Again, I'm not being paid to say anything. This is just my honest opinion. It's really easy to use and convenient. Uh, they did give me a discount, which you can also get link in the description. Um, now let me also, so here we can click on 3D. This will show you the PCB in like a 3D view. So it uh, takes a minute to load, but as you can see, that's the PCB in a 3D view. Um, we can flip back to the PCB. You can also uh, see it in uh, two dimensions. Uh, there are different colors or so you can order. Once again, I'm not going to spend too much time here. I will link to a video showing you how you can design a PCB and order from scratch within 10 minutes. Here I'm showing you a quick uh, video of me soldering the PCB. By the way, I'm not really the best with the soldering skills. I do okay. If you have any tips or comments or if you just want to make fun of my soldering skills, uh, that's what the comment section is for. Um, but yeah, like the, real quick here, adding these headers for the ESP32 and the outside headers, by the way, you can ignore. These are just exposing the additional pins in case you want to expand on the project. If you are not uh, wanting to expand on the project or that's not the goal, you can skip these. Uh, adding the terminals here real quick and then uh, putting also the uh, diode and the LED and everything. I did have a little bit of a hard time holding the component in place. So I'm going to try this new sticky putty. Uh, I'll make a future video about that, see if that helps with the soldering. So, uh, but yeah, this is it. Make sure the transistor and the LED in the correct orientation and that should do the trick. After the uh, soldering with everything, uh, here I'm going to uh, add the switch. So um, this is the switch and I'm going to just use some additional uh, wires to mount it in place. It was a little bit wobbly initially, so uh, I'm, I'm soldering that in place. And then um, what I decided to use here is some, uh, some hot glue to hold it in place to stop it from uh, wobbling a little bit. And yeah, this is uh, pretty much it uh, for this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions. I'll also find a way to leave the uh, PCB file in the description in case you want to download that directly. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.